Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. We get the full screen. <laughs> All right, there we go. Full screen. I mean, I'm speechless. Holy goddamn shit, Nathan. <laughs> That's your idea of speechless? <laughs> God, how long do you think it took them to build this place? Years. Decades, even. How the hell did they keep it a secret all that time? It's just this place. I mean, even without the treasure, this is quite the oh. find. A carved horned bird sculpture? Well, hot damn. That looks pretty cool. And it's got one, like, tail feather underneath that's, like, darker. Weird. Alrighty. Help. If only Alcazar saw it that way. You just can't let us enjoy this, can you? I'm enjoying it. But we have a goal here, remember? Trust me. I know about the goal. That's all I'm saying. Okay, then. <sighs> A Butalia treasury question mark. Ooh, a bar. You. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers. What were they doing here? What with colonists? Yeah. I mean, you throw your lot in with these infamous outlaws, and then what? You know. Load off, yeah. find some refuge, enjoy a little grog. <laughs> it's far worse fates. Yeah, I guess. Except you have to see Avery's statue every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, uh, you ever wonder, like, with different choices, how we might have ended up? I mean, like you taking a magic show on the road? <laughs> no, that was a that was an option. I was good. <laughs> it's not a viable option. What, you know what? You're just jealous. Uh, you always were. <laughs> no, but I mean, what would our lives have been like if we hadn't started by chasing these people who've been dead for hundreds of years? You think it would resemble more of a normal life? Mm -hmm. Normal. You've got everybody gathered around the table for Thanksgiving, exchanging all the baby photos, something like that. No, no, thank you. Not for me. I like the hand we've been dealt. Yep, heard that before. Come on, we're, we're fortunate, man. <laughs> this is fortune. Yeah. I mean, of course, I've been locked up for the last 15 years, so it's all relative, I suppose. <laughs> all right, well, I'll give you that. This is much better than prison. <laughs> well, my mug's run dry. Yeah, I was about to say, service here is lousy. Blacksmith. Hey Sam, check it out. Blacksmith Forge. Making some cutlasses here. Uh, 
Avast, you dirty dog. <laughs> nice. I was doing the thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I was doing the thing. Right. Right. <laughs> You're a horrible pirate. Suppose they traded with other colonies? Uh, if they did, they didn't do it on this island. Otherwise, word would have gotten out about the place. Good point. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. This letter's still legible. May 17th, 1715. Father, you no doubt heard my vessel was destroyed by an East Indian Indian man ship. If you grieved for me, I beg your forgiveness, but I needed the world to believe me dead. Not only is your son alive and well, you shall be happy to hear that I have resigned my captain captaincy. I no longer make my fortunes as a thief. Instead, my stalwart crew of buccaneers and I have joined with other like-minded souls to further the cause of liberty. We are founding a colony where every man is considered equal and free to do as they wish. To that end, I have chosen to work the fields and livestock, which I imagine would amuse you to no end. But it brings me satisfaction, the likes of which I have never found back home. For now, our location must remain secret, but I hope one day you can come here and see what we have accomplished. A society free from the unjust subjugation you have grown to accept. Christopher. Oof. Okay. Oh no! Huh. Horse bones. They're still tied up. Like they were abandoned. Why? Don't know. Maybe people left in a hurry. Or they were taken away. Yeah, something isn't kosher here. <clears throat> so what do you think happened here, huh? What do you mean? Uh, you know, all good things must come to an end, right? I mean, I joke about cursed pirate treasure, but after hearing all your stories... Well, the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. Uh, usually. Why did they abandon their horses? Hmm. Hey Sam, check it out. It's like a pirate code of conduct. point of this place was not having rules. Well, even pirate ships had their own rules. Article 5. He who deserts Libertalia in time of battle shall be punished by death. Do these slavers, murderers, and thieves actually follow these rules? Hmm. Sure. Guess it would probably be in here. Why is it so foggy? Oh, Mughal, Mughal, Mughal. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, fucking stop. Mogul? Mogul? Really? Mogul? Huh. 
a mogul vase. Really, that's... No way. No. Yes? <laughs> Moogle? <laughs> Mogul? Moogle? <laughs> I don't know. It might be Mogul. That's interesting. Okay. Huh. So we got a Mogul vase. Captain Avery. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Huh? What's this symbol? I saw a few of them when I was coming to find you. And who's marking these places? Is that another sigil? No, not that I know of. Maybe invaders? I mean, I'm sure these guys had plenty of enemies out there. Good point. Hmm. Hey, Nathan, check it out. Oh. Oh, I would totally get a picture of myself in this thing. If we had a camera, that is. Well, hey, I can sketch in my journal. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's some truth to the whole parrot thing. What is the symbol? Nice drawings, Nate. Uh. This is amazing and all, but... How do you suppose we get to that big building with the tower? Okay. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god, it's one of those lock boxes. I I picked one up as a treasure like a while ago. Like a a while ago. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. The only thing that's different is that that one has like a key engraved onto the right side. Huh. No, I see you. Wait. Give me that. An ancient stone pot. Looks like there's blood on the side. Either that or berry juice? <laughs> Could be berry juice. Sam, come here. This looks promising. Right behind you. Go. Hey, guess we're not going back that way. A little pirate, a little pirate hangout. Looks like a hideout of some kind. Yeah, but who would they be hiding out from? Themselves? Potentially. Look at this. Looks like the layout of the commercial district. Boom, there's our treasury right there. See, there's the tower. What were these guys up to? Hmm. Right leads to the treasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A 
painted copper bottle. Huh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice looking. Alrighty. Jump up. Oh, oh, oh. That's our way out of here. You all right, Sam? Just looking. I see some light down below. Holy shit. Hey! Uh... Found more of the colony. Wait. Chips, saw something. Go look and make sure. Sure thing, Bruce. How's it? You got anything? Think we're good yet? They've seen us yet. Just keep it that way. Hey, keep your head down. Nothing over Tell there. That's the same thing. He's yeah, gone, yeah. whatever it was.
It's gonna hurt. Yep. They're surrounding me. You're here too. Is there a guy, like, in the plant? That's all of them. Grab any ammo you can. That won't be the last of them. You think they're looking for us or the treasure? <laughs> no and Rafe? Both. Okay. Ooh, a flintlock. I'll take that. Actually, I think I'll take this. Okay. my back. Okay. That's totally it. It's gotta be. So, do we 
just need to get higher. But if the problem is just me getting higher, then where would I go? I can go lower. Not really. Where the fuck do you want me to go? Oh! This isn't it. Oh, come. Oh, can I really not go any farther? Okay, I have to get higher, but how do I get higher? Oh my god. Ah, crap, more shoreliners. Like rich boy was right. Lekker. About time we had a proper payday. What? Can you ah, crap, my shoreliners. <sighs> Looks like rich boy was right. Lekker. About time we had a proper payday. Shoreliners. <laughs> Looks like Rich Boy was right. Lekker. About time we had a proper payday. Hang on. Oh. Okay. You see any more? Or are we clear? I think we're clear. You all right? Yeah. Just a little winded. Damn it. Franklin. 
Forgive me. I dare not speak of this in the presence of our families last night. I did not want to distress them. I have not seen my cousin Jack for several days, and I hoped you might know his whereabouts. I have already been to the jail to check the stockades and cells. It wouldn't be the first time he was detained there, but I only saw the usual gathering of drunkards. Something has surely happened to him, but no one dares speak of it. I must be forthright. I fear it is related to the meetings you both attend beneath the church every half-moon. They are an open secret, and if I know of them, it is certain the founders know of them as well. If you have heard anything, I implore you, please let me know. Matthew. Oh. What? What? <laughs> I am... Huh? Where were... I what I, uh, it's pretty it's very pretty what mogul jade bottle okay okay I'm I'm gonna wait till the next treasure and then I'm going to see what's up. Because like I said, they, they might be out of order. I don't, I don't know. That's the problem, is I don't know. Come on, Sam! Is that thing steady? Steady as anything else around here. Oh, okay, so <laughs> no. All right, all right. Here I come. Some more friends up ahead. Where? Oh. Okay. Aina. Yeesh. This whole place is falling apart. But talk much. We spend the whole building over the years. Hey, you ever done anything like this? There are a couple of governments, little villages. This is something else. Wait, was it just the two of them? Huh.
pressed the wrong button. Not that that would have helped. What the fuck, Nathan? I pointed up. What are you doing, Nathan? There are two armored guys. Didn't know that. Can I stealth kill the shotgun guys? Or can I just not melee them at all? Watch 
you go. It all clear. What the? What's that? Here, over here. God. Okay, Jen, stay sharp. Keep this door nice and tidy for the boss lady. Hmm? Anything interesting? Nothing. Lined by a branch. Uh. Okay, Jack, stay sharp. Keep this job nice and tidy for the boss lady. Damn, what? Did it cause something, eh? What? What was it? Was it? That's gone. Whatever it was. Fucking who? I hate that I can't throw back grenades. That is literally the worst thing they could have fucking done. And they did it. Uh, I'm still mad about it. Fuck it.
Imagine aiming at someone's head for 15 years and not and not uh, not getting a headshot. Imagine. You don't have to imagine. This is Uncharted 4. I am begging this game to, to come up with a new trick other than throwing grenades. Isn't it? I don't think. I don't know. Over here. Oh. Come on. Ready? Ready.
think I found everything. Thanks. Careful. It's a long way down. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap! Whew. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Yeah. in the middle. We'll make do. Keep heading up. <laughs> How you doing back there? It's a hell of a view. <laughs> Almost there, Sam. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm already tired. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, talk about a high dive. Yeah. Alrighty. Can't get over there, it looks like. Uh. Okay. Nice. There you go, big brother. Try to keep up, huh? Hey, don't forget who taught you how to do that, huh? You old punk. Huh? Okay. There's got to be something here. Further down? No, no, seriously. There's got to be something here. Oh! Thank you. They are out of order. What the fuck? Why, why are they out of order? Uh, I'm filled with pain. Anyway, what is this? A slip joint clasp knife? Cool. <laughs> it almost looks like a fucking grenade pin. Uh, okay. I fucking hate the sh shoreline soldiers, man. Okay. Now what? Trust me and follow my lead, okay? <sighs> okay. Look at that. Another one. Large bronze boar. See, now I'm looking at the, this one, and I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay. Large bronze boar. Look at it. It all. What's wrong with that? Like the hair on his back. <laughs> I think this entire room is just bonus. I think, yeah, I need to head back to Sam. Do all of that then? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> Dead 
definitely in the high rent district now. Not residential though. <sighs> Some kind of administration building? Probably. Maybe Libertalia had a zoning committee. <laughs> Maybe they paid taxes. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. up here. What are you talking about? Oh shit, there it is. Stout vase. Hey, I can actually see inside this one. Cool. It's also kind of see-through, maybe? Actually, no, no? No, I don't think so. It's the illusion of being see-through, kind of. But it's not actually see-through. Ugh. Hi, Sim. Oh, you have no idea how tired I am. Didn't mean to press that, but that's fine. I basically have two shotguns. Well, more like this one's more like a Desert Eagle, honestly. No way through up here either. Well, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something, mate. This place must have taken years and years to build. <laughs> well, it's great piles of money. Comes no responsibility. Full restraint, apparently. Ish. Yeah, well, money can't buy taste. Some of them, anyway. Jesus. Cannons? Improvised barricades? What the hell happened here? Some kind of battle. It's a rhetorical question. The real question is who's fighting who? Why? Some of these bodies, dressed a bit more fancy, look like soldiers. So it was the colonists versus the soldiers. That's the treasury up there. It appears someone was trying to make a withdrawal. Yeah. Let's just hope they didn't succeed. Right? Sir. Oh, wait. Damn it, I thought I saw something shiny. Excuse me. <gasps> awesome. And there we go. There's all the missing stuff. Why was this one so much farther? Like, back than everything else. Ooh. Mogul serving vase. This looks very nice. Okay. Oh, my back. God, that sucks. Okay. This is impressive, uh, to say the least. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Or not. You want to give me a hand? Yeah. 
It's just the locking mechanism. It's empty. Of course it is. You think Rafe? No. Nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years. Right. Well, search for clues? Yeah, search for clues. Chapter 15, The Thieves of Libertalia. Empty. Mm. Thief. Yeah, emerald flask. Wow. That's very pretty. Nice. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Where'd it all go? That's what we're trying to figure out, Sam. What's this? Oh. Old manifest. What's a treasure? Manifest of the good ship Destiny bound for Libertalia from the port of King's Bay. 10,000 coins sigil, silver muggle. 9,000 coins silver. 14,000 coins in gold of Spanish doubloons. A gold horse and rider statue that's a moogle. A bronze elephant statue that's mute Mughal. Another one. A hundred iron Spanish spears. Fifty-four Spanish steel cutlasses. Fifty iron Spanish cannonballs. Twelve horses. Four barrels of wine. Huh. Captain Avery. You've certainly seen better days. It's not a good time to lose your head. Huh, fancy clothes. What kind of uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. <laughs> Where is over here? Sam? Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. <laughs> Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So, based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Is the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look. There's Avery. Two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. Now look, right there. New Devon. Wait, Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some 
seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. So, hang on. New Devon. Now, how do we get up there? I think this was supposed to trigger a convo. Hang on. Oh shit, it actually tells me. Not yet completed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, uh, that uh, that uh, that body in the back is supposed to trigger a cutscene. So let's let's go there immediately. Captain Avery. You've certainly seen better days. Huh, fancy clothes. What kind of uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. What the hell yeah. happened to you? Good question. What if... Maybe there's no treasure left. You know, they spend it all on marble floors. So the colonists find out their money's gone and they get pissed. Yeah, maybe so. Hmm. Alrighty. Okay. And then in here, I think. Hmm. No. Well, it was in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Found something. Oh, I'm amazed this letter's still intact. Section G, shelf B. Contents as accounted for by R. Taylor. A jeweled dagger. Founder Al -Bas Basra claims this bejeweled dagger belonged to the Emperor. To Emperor. Aron Gezeb himself. If so, its worth is immeasurable. A pearl elephant, a magnificent little specimen, painted in deep indigo with a pearl saddle, tempted to slide it into my own pocket. And a jade vase. The details in this sculpted vase are exquisite. The Mughals have a knack for any th for working with jade. Founder Al Basra. Tells me their empire has entire workshops dedicated to the manufacture of such items. Well, that is not the same note that I saw. Another thief. What happened here? What's this? Oh, another one. There's the manifest. There's the manifest the that I saw. Hey Nathan, over here. Hang on. Actually, no, wait. Hey, Nathan, check it out. New Devon. Now, how do we get up there? Alright, so I know that there are three things, three uh, collectible things because of me restarting the chapter. Hey, have a look at this. Hang on. Is it 
lying to me? No. I'm looking around. Up. I know there's one more. I know there is. I, I, I have to ask myself, did it break again? Because there used to be a triangle prompt right there. I swear to God there was. And now it's just gone. Why is the beginning of this chapter just, just broken? <laughs> I think the beginning of this chapter is just like broken. And you have to do just like a shit ton of stuff early, maybe. Because that's nothing. Oh, oh, wait. No. It yeah, it's broken. Wait, he won't he won't do anything. Oh my god. What the fuck? This chapter's broken. It's like the moment you talk to your brother with that fucking coin thing, it completely breaks. It shatters. So I have to... I have to fucking speedrun this shit and find everything. So, in here... Nothing. And now... Guess what? Yep. What's this? Old manifest. It just oh, treasure. didn't work last time. Wait, I gotta get to Sam. Because if Sam decides to go to the center of the room Thief. first. Huh. Fancy clothes. Kind of uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. Good question. What if maybe there's no treasure left? You know, they spin it all on marble floors. So the colonists find out their money's gone and they get pissed. Yeah, maybe so. Captain Avery. I've certainly seen better days. Set up your surrounds. Open up. Zilch. Lots of empty shelves here. Nothing. Another thief. What happened here? Nathan, over here. Hang on. Found something. Oh, I'm amazed this letter's still intact. No. Because you'll break everything. Hello. Okay. Huh. Another one. Section D, shelf is this A. What was on the shelves? Contents is accounted for by R. Taylor. Wooden chest with silver inlay and brass studs. The contents being 342 go Moogle gold coins, 240 Moogle silver coins, and 734 Moogle copper coins. Or mogul. Bejeweled saddle with leather, sapphires, and rubies. A set of carved golden rings. Elephant, bird, and horse. Bejeweled golden brooch. Gold, emeralds, pearls, and rubies. A painting. A 
with elephant and rider, wooden frame with gold inlay, cups, jade, set of six, founder Al Basra claims these jade cups belong to Shah Jan, a worthy addition to our collection, sculpture, bronze, elephant, and palanquin, and then a gold sculpture bust of Arun... Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb. Okay. All right. And now we trigger this optional conversation. Uh, if I, it, yeah, it would be optional because it marked it as optional. New Devon. Holy shit. Finally. Fuck. Now, how do we get up there? I can't believe this chapter just breaks if you decide to talk to Sam. Or if you don't okay, go right. fast enough. This doesn't let you okay, that's step one. Oh, that's step step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sounds surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> The place is looking classy. Why don't you see if you can swing to that other chain? What yeah. other chain? Oh. I can barely see it because of the sun. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Condon. Baldrich. What? You're stepping on Baldrich. Oh, so I am. So where to? You coming, Sam? Right behind you. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Not too soon. Like I said. Hello. I thought her fingers were like moving somehow. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. You Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. <laughs> about there. <laughs> sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? You bet. Oh. Come on, ready? Ready. <laughs> Okay. All right, I found something. Say, stand back. Here you go. Come on. 
Okay. Whoa. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, where do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. Of sorts. How long you think it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Shit! Jesus! You all right? Let me go! Fucking video game. Let's try this again. Okay. Ow. Okay, wait, wait. Hey, Nadine. Great to see you again. Okay, Mango. Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. Mm. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just 
just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? <sighs> That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> fast but you're not that fast hey forget about her come on we gotta get out of here before they shit no. whoa, 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 whoa. everybody just just calm down okay well this is interesting Nate Samuel put your guns down all of you no Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You want me to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just... Let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? I'll be here what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him... His freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar, really? You lied. You lied to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive. And somewhat well. There was no breakout. 
I bribed the prison warden. And your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down the second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. Okay? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no. No. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue when you kissed that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, wait, you don't, don't What the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Chapter 16. We start by finding a way in. The Brothers Dream. And then we can take the grand tour. Do you think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. What's he here? Jeez. What do you think a place like this costs? I think knowing the answer would make you sad. Oh? <laughs> A toy soldier? Look at this dude. <laughs> okay. We're just looking at the fountain because it was obviously well lit. Hang on. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Had to check. What I tell you? Mm, it was worth a try. All right. Let's look around back, huh? That's the plan. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Here, follow me.
Come on, Nathan. I'm waiting on you. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Miss Evelyn, my name is Kinichiro Nam Namba. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find, the set of Tokugawa era, era armor you obtained at the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. I write today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be a French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Unfor apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I travel to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I am staying at the Lennox, if you wish to contact me. I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards, Kinichiro Namba. Where'd you go, Sam? That'll do. Oh. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off white leather binder. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. We go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Relics of Tokugawa Iyasu, Kinichiro Nanba, Kyoto University. Dear Eddie, greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrives safely. There is no post office here, only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up the Manu River. I wish you could see the howler monkeys yesterday, bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as a howl, however. It is like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. Were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you as a pet. Your mom is busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion to the jungle, where we hope to conclude our research. She sends her love, 
I promise when you are older, we shall bring you on our trips so that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother. Study hard, and we shall see you in a month. Love, Dad. Was this your house? Hey, hmm. these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. <sighs> I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just going to move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Megan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. Oh, we budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? On second thought, maybe not. Here, oh. A toy seaplane. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this man. Cool. Recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife, buried together. It's kind of dark, in like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Here's another one. Nope. Ancient Persepolis. I believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> Amir Abbasi, ah, University of Tehran. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Please join us at the Adventurer's Log Lodge for our annual holiday gala, gala, December 21st from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. 5 p.m. open bar, 6 p.m. buffet dinner, 
7 p.m. presentation by President Charles M. Walsh on his recent expedition to Africa. 8 p.m. new member initiation. Silent auction ends at 9 p.m. Please RSVP by December 1st. It's been a while. I do hope you'll like you'll join us this year, Charles. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay. Well, Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. <laughs> Always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. <laughs> Our journey to... I just read this one. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. Hmm. Hey, check it out. Hot in there. You still have that hat on you? Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, I was old. <laughs> Wow, this table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn, they must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah, looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Evelyn, it's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning here, which means it is afternoon in Arabia. I hope you are finding the heat bearable. The Queen of she Sheba, at least, had an entourage accompanying her and her treasure on her journey to S Solomon. Thanks to my foolish behavior, you are retracing that journey alone. We always agreed that we would strive to live a life of our own choosing, free of regret and missed opportunities. At the airport, my thoughts were not of the present, but of the future simply have a hard time reconciling the whirlwind life we live around the world we live around the world versus the one we live at home no matter how intense our disagreement i should not have cast doubt on your commitment to our family i deserved your admonishment and i understand why you left without me in the spirit of solomon we must find a way to seek compromise until that with then i wish you the very best of luck edmund and i shall be eagerly awaiting your return. Love, Ken. Hmm. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on, you know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right?
Oh. Whoa. Hornets of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, look at that. Locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. <sighs> hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Well, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think the journals are here. We should find a way up to that vent. Going in alone. Adventure life. A dragon dong. Hmm. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Evelyn, I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life and was both surprised and delighted to see your grace its cover once again. I am pleased to see you looking so happy, still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our separate lives, your accomplishments still bring me no small amount of pride. Attached is the photo from Edmund's graduation. Top of his class. I guess we did something right. Though he would kill me if he knew I told you. I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you, particularly the look that crosses his face just before the Eureka moment. What's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this. You'll find a joy the likes of which no one else could provide. I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud. With warm regards, Ken. Hmm. Oh. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. <laughs> yeah, more like a generally made-up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? And this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. You could sell it. Then you wouldn't need to take that job. Well, tonight, let's just stick with what already belongs to us. Hmm.
liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Is that What's left of it? Allow the sarcophagus to join. wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Not like they needed the money. Allow the sarcophagus. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. Allow the sarcophagus to join its fellows from Amenhotep's tomb in our museum. Certainly understand your reluctance. You did beat us to the find, after all. But our offer is more than generous, and I can assure you it will be treated and displayed with the proper care and respect due the sarcophagus and the efforts undertaken to retrieve it. You have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It is time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you will consider my offer. Yours sincerely, Peter K. GR Acquisitions. It's moving a bookcase. It's probably progress. Samurai. Or Shogun. But of all the ones you're not going to put back? Okay. Check this out. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. The Maya civil Maya civilization. Mark Carrillo Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala. I apologize. I'm apologizing now. <laughs> oh. oh wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. June 8th, 1937. My dearest E, your journey to El Mirador, Mirador sounds fantastic. Did the Mayans leave anything behind for you? Look forward to hearing more in person upon my return. Yours, Amelia Earhart. Just kick the books on the ground. Ready? Oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. Now smile, all right? Don't lose it. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Up here. <laughs> hey, don't fall. Oh, wait. I can climb, climb. Hmm. Oh. Oh! A 
pirate snow globe. <laughs> That's neat. Alrighty. Nothing else up here, it looks like. Lock from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Codeine. Lots of painkillers. Evelyn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to write this letter. I was hoping our last conversation made my intentions clear. I was hoping that ignoring your repeated attempts to contact me would eventually send the right message. Discovering you sent my daughter a check in the mail means the message was too subtle for someone like you. I don't need your money, and more to the point, I don't want your money. I can take care of my family just fine without your help. It's insulting to both of our intelligence to pretend that your hollow gesture would somehow rekindle our relationship. What little was left of our bond died the moment you couldn't bother to show up for Dad's funeral. Right up to the moment he drew his last breath, he still loved you. I don't. I pray you find peace with whatever it, with whatever it is you've been seeking your entire life. But do not contact me or my family again, Edmund. Well, that's sad. Anything? I didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. Czar Peter the Great and the Amber Room, Kloya Yurkov, St. Pe Petersburg State University. something <laughs> this is it
which is a paradise. Evelyn bought a first edition of a general history of pirates from a collector, along with a stack of 18th century documents. Among them, I found a very intriguing letter from one Joseph Burns, who not only admits to being a crewman of Henry Avery's ship, but possibly hints at Avery's vast treasure. What else could Riches of Paradise refer to? If he sent this letter from prison, he clearly didn't have the treasure with him. So where is it? We need to trace it back to the source. Henry Avery's attack on the gun's way. Picture caption Joseph Burns. Map caption last known sighting. Note above letter. What are these markings? Whoa. Henry Avery. Guns away heist. seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey. You keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our action. At least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you're, you're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? <sighs> you knew our mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick harvest magnum. Greatness from small beginnings. So Francis Drake's motto. Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secret one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. 
It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, Look, Lee. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. Right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. They're on the ground somewhere. They are? Don't think so. Let's be careful. Yeah. Fuck, where did he go? I thought he went up. Okay, wait, where did he go? I swear to God, I saw him, like, right here. Oh. Okay. It only let me go down the run. Nathan! You all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! This is Officer Murphy. We've got two burglary suspects on foot. One is up for you now. Move back! Freeze shot, Back this way! Go, go, go! I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Yeah. 
Some night, huh? Some night. They were waiting. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was some... Sick. But, I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? I mean, how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers. Adventurers. And mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like, you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him. You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. I... Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. you're thinking I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did yeah I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here how did you uh, find me anyway oh you know easy just follow the sound of gunfire <laughs> no I mean how did you get here Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. <sighs> now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wasn't missing. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got them. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't.
Can't wait. But you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So. Alrighty. Gonna go ahead and end it there. I gotta stop fucking slouching. I just need a fucking standing desk. I should just, I should just stand while I play fucking video games. Because every single time I sit down, I fucking unconsciously start slouching. And the, the and as soon as I realize that I'm slouching, I, I try to straighten up. But it makes my back fucking ache like no tomorrow. Ah, it sucks. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Especially if you got this far and stick around. Because there's a lot more to come.